All right, the point of this video real quick is just to go over how to make a deadline funnel using high level. So what we've got here is we've got a funnel. I've cloned this and cleaned it up a little bit from the snapshot a little bit. Uh, so let's just take a look at it. We'll take a quick preview. This is what our funnel is going to look like. This is the deadline feature. So the whole idea with the deadline funnel is that there's some sort of countdown and that this just isn't some sort of forever free type claim or free offer. So what we've got here is a landing page. The whole idea here is to kind of talk about whatever your claim or offer is, and then for them to claim it, what we've done is we've made a survey. So uh, shoot me an email. I'll put my email address and my web link in the bottom of this video. If you want this snapshot, I'd be happy to shoot it over to you for free. Uh, some of this is a little bit of a hassle when you're first starting high level, just kind of walking through some of the stuff. So let's jump into it. Let's go to the offer claim page. And what I've done, I've cleaned this up a little bit. This is basically a template provided to me by high level. Uh, what I've done is I've inserted this countdown timer and really, let's see how to do that too. So let's put another timer in here. All this is is a web element over here that we've added in. So I might have already went past it here. Uh, countdown. So if I click on countdown or I can do minute timer or I can do day timer. They all have different options. Uh, but for this, if we click on this, we're looking over here on the left side to toggle our options. So the big thing here is we can set the time that it expires. You can see I've got it set for a custom time. Uh, that way we can kind of go through with our demo and we can make this expire. That way we can see what's going on here. Uh, but you would probably want to set this for the end of the month, something like that. Uh, I've got all my font sizes and stuff like that I've chosen down here. Really, this is the big thing, though, with the deadline funnel. Uh, you've got what's going to happen here. So after this expires, high level is basically giving us two options. We can redirect somebody to a URL, or we could show and hide elements. So everything here on the page is basically an element. So when this expires, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all of these elements on the page. And then I'm going to show you a hidden element that I've actually got hidden here. You actually can't see it. Uh, and that element is going to appear. So let's go ahead and just tweak this a little bit so we can see this thing actually expire and get a little action here. Uh, it's going to be about 901 my time. So I'm going to make this expire at 901. And let's hit preview on this. So you can see we've got about 24 seconds here. Offer ticking down rapidly. And this is what you can expect here. And this is kind of the whole idea is you want the offer just to rescind. So this offer is about to be invalidated in 10 seconds, and you're going to see what happens here. We're going to hide a lot of the elements, and then we're going to show some elements that are hidden right now. Bing. So if you come to the page from now on, now that the offer's expired, this is just what you're going to get. So there is no page anymore. You can safely uh, be sure that nothing's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to have to reset this timer for the purpose of our video here, just to put a little bit more time on it. Uh, but what we did there is we hit everything, and we made just this element appear right here. So this element is actually hidden right here. The way to manage your hidden elements is you go to Section, and then Manage. And then there's a little eyeball right here, so you can hide anything. So I've named that section expired offer, but you can see it's right here the whole time. We're just choosing to hide the element right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, each section over here has a name, so that makes it a little bit easier if you name your sections accordingly. You know, you could put this section as about our gym or something, so just something if you're going to be messing with that a little bit. But I mean, this is the big core uh, set up here at the deadline offer. Let's go ahead and use our funnel now and let's just see what happens when we actually claim the offer now. So what we're doing is we're making the pop-up work. The pop-up will only work if you click one of these buttons. So let's just put some data in here and see what happens. So what's going to happen, and I'm going to show you how I've done this, but we're actually going to control what happens after this survey is filled out. And we're actually going to control that through the funnel builder. So after we hit submit here, we're actually going to make this go to another step. That step is going to be thanks for claiming your free week. And 
course, what we want to do here, next step is to choose a date and time to get set up with your week membership. Okay, cool. Let's book a time. Let's see what happens now. All right, so I'm booking my time. Now, again, we're controlling where this calendar booking goes after this, and we're going to push it to the Thank You Builder. So I'm going to show you how I've done that in the funnel, too. It's actually really cool. Uh, boom. So now thank you for claiming your free week. We look forward to seeing you and helping you reach your fitness goals. Seems pretty easy. A little bit more difficult than it actually probably needs to be. Uh, let's back out of here, and let's take a look at what's going on here. So we've got each funnel step here. Each funnel step exists for a reason. Uh, actually, I'm going to go back in here and show you what I did with the survey. That's going to be our first forced action. So I'm going to click pop-up to edit the pop-up. And when I click on this survey, there's a little funny toggle over here that most people don't know. And it says redirect action. So redirect action, it could say use action from the survey builder. So there's actually a way in the survey builder to tell it where to forward, or you can basically override that and you can tell it to go to the next step. So that's what we're doing here is we have a next step that we want it to go to. So instead of allowing it to do whatever it's going to do, we could either override right now and say go to a URL after you fill out this survey, or go to next step. The idea of next step is we want to keep them here in the funnel. So let's go ahead and go back. So after we force them to that, it really wants me to save my changes. So let's go examine our next funnel step. All right, we're back here. It took a second to load. So we're going to go to the booking page. And the booking page, of course, is the next step. So when we told it to go to the next step, these are each defined as steps. So this is step one, step two, step three. So this is next step when we're on this step. So booking page, let's go here and edit this. And again, we just want to control this. That way, after somebody books an appointment, we flow them to the next funnel step. So we do that by clicking on the calendar down here, and then click on this button actions and the redirect actions and just tell it to go to the next step. So sometimes the calendar will just shoot you a thank you message for booking, or it'll forward you to a different website. The whole idea is that we want to control this flow right through here. Uh, and then our final thank you page, this is just a dead end page. So nothing to really see here, nothing to do there. Uh, but this is kind of how it's done. This is a three-step funnel, probably a little bit more complicated there than uh, the out-of-the-box solution. Let's see what we've done after this, because now that that was completed, we probably wanted to send a text message. So check this out. This is the text message that's being automated to the person that filled it out. Joe, thanks for claiming our offer for one free week. And then this is the text message that would be automated to you, the business owner. New offer just claimed. And it gives you all of the information from there. So the way I've done that is we've actually just built an automation. And that automation is actually triggered off of the survey being completed. So up here is where I kind of declare what the automation is going to be. So here we've gone to survey submitted and I changed my survey to offer survey. Offer survey is the survey we were using on there. And when somebody fills out that survey, I'm just doing a couple basic things. I've made a pipeline called offer pipeline. So we're going to add them to the offer pipeline into the new claim. We've also put this custom variable in here for the source. This is going to actually populate a custom date based on today's date. So I really like to use this for the source variable when I make anything in a pipeline. That way it dates the lead the day that the opportunity was created. So it's a real clever way to kind of keep track of everything. The second thing we did is we texted the customer. So we use the custom, a custom variable here, which we accessed from this menu by going custom variables, contact, first name. So not full name, first name. Thanks for claiming our offer. So we can customize this any way we want. And then finally, we sent an internal notification. That's what this is. So this isn't another text message. Even though it is a text, this is actually an internal notification. We changed the notification type to SMS. We made it a custom number. I put a decoy number in here for now. Uh, and this is just the basic information from the lead. So the whole idea is that if the offer is claimed. We want to thank the person. We want to confirm. 
with them, but we also usually would want to alert the business owner. Now, if we check out our settings in here, we're not going to allow multiple on this. So if somebody decides to fill out our survey and have fun and fill it out multiple times, we're not going to have multiple text messages. We're not going to create multiple opportunities. One final thing we'll take a glance at here is the pipeline. Uh, this is our offer pipeline. So you can see we have just one stage here, and Joe Offer has been added to the pipeline. And it's been added with today's date. So this is going to make a lot more of a difference as days and weeks pass by, because that date's going to have more meaning that this is basically your born-on date for the lead. Which you can actually still tell your born-on date for the lead if you click the little mini menu and you look down here too. So that data is also stored down here. I just find that it's incredibly helpful when it's here in your pipeline view. So. That's pretty much how we do it. The whole goal here was to set up a, dead, a deadline funnel and go high level, and that's what we've done. If you want me to send you this snapshot with my brief setup here, I'd be happy to do so. Uh, just shoot me a message on here uh, or check on our website. I'd be happy to give you the snapshot at no cost.